Welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Lightstar, your top MLB player prop bets for today, plus home run calls of the day. Alongside my co-host, Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Today is International Friendship Day, Tyler, so happy Friendship Day to you, my friend. And also, let's hope the Yankees get some more friends on their team today. It's also the trade deadline, so I'm hoping our squad looks a little different and see what Cashman can do at the deadline. But it should be a pretty interesting day from that perspective because people are going to be bopping around, I feel like. I feel like this is going to be another crazy one. What do you think? I would say there's a good chance. The one thing is that there's really not that much pitching available, and yeah. I think the teams that are really hungry, that's where they want to make a splash. But pitching is just so expensive, this trade deadline. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that's I've seen come up. So I'm worried the Yankees might miss out on somebody. But hey, if they're in it to win it this year, they might pay up. We'll see if they even have the what I guess people are asking for these days for a starting pitcher is uh, a little crazy. And then did you see the news with the uh, White Sox pitcher Garrett Crochet, I guess, doesn't want to pitch in the what does he not want to pitch in the postseason without a new contract or something? Without a new contract, yeah. Yeah. I, his team has been very upfront about you know being worried about his innings and and wanting to get paid unless uh, before they really push his innings. So something to watch for today besides our prop bets, of course, and our home run calls. Um, yesterday on the show, we did really well, three and one on our prop bets, plus that Ketel Mar- uh, Ketel Marte. Home run call that I gave out, plus 390. That one cash for us. It's been quite the tear. And so have we, eight and two on our last two shows with those prop bets. So unfortunately, though, it was one of the ones was a main pick, so no money gun celebration for today. But we've still been crushing it on this show. Hopefully you guys have been able to cash some of those bets as well. If not, my apologies. We'll try to make up for it today here with our prop bets for today. We've got some good ones today. As always, we're using the Props AI tool on the Line Startup to help us find the best value in the prop market. And if you could do us a huge favor before we get into it for today, like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below. A comment also enters you into our daily prop bets contest, whereby if we go two for two on our main prop bets of the day, one randomly selected commenter will win $50. Basically, we put together a ticket and put money of ourselves down on this as well. So if we lose, you know, we're also losing money because we're putting our money where our mouth is. So make sure if you haven't already, comment below, enter that contest. And let's get into it for today. Tyler, where are you headed for your main prop bet of the day? It hurts me to say it, but I'm going to pick on my Padres. We are going Tyler Glass now over 5.5 Ks at minus 130. Our line star projection, 6.1. Consensus is 6.7. He has been over this line in 83% of games this season. Glass now has that strikeout kind of stuff that it really doesn't matter who they're going against. Padres do not strike out much, but Tyler Glass now is just a different beast. And this line Mm -hmm. is 2Ks lower than it normally is. I think we take the discount and just ride Tyler Glass now. Yeah, especially at a pitcher-friendly park like Petco for tonight. So I like that pick there. For mine, I'm going to Cattell Marte, the guy that cashed... Plus 390 home run call yesterday. He's had a home run in five of the last seven games. He's on quite the tear. So we're going to go Marte over one and a half bases. He's gone over this seven of the last 10 games. He's a top 10% hitter against left-handed pitching. And in fact, also top 5% exit velocity against lefties over the last two weeks. And today he'll be facing Washington National Southpaw, Patrick Corbin, who he's got good numbers against. Five for 12 with two home runs. Plus Corbin ranks 247th against righty bats. Marte is a switch hitter, does really well as a righty bat. Washington bullpen also 23rd against switch hitters. This game is at Chase Field where Marte dominates, and this is just a bat that's been on an absolute tear over the last couple weeks. So just going to go with the hot bat of Cattell Marte here over one and a half bases. Cash for me yesterday. Let's hope he can run it back and do it once again today over that one and a half bases. Seems like a a good bet there. So for our main ticket today, our two main prop bets of the day, we're going with Tyler's pick, Tyler Glass now over five and a half Ks plus Cattell Marte over one and a half bases. We're putting that together on Underdog Fantasy if you'd like to tail us there. And if you don't have Underdog Fantasy yet, you can download it, use the promo code Line Store or some others, Parlay Play, Prize Picks, 
any of those, we'll list them below and you can use that promo code LINESTAR to get a deposit match plus one free month of LINESTAR. All right, let's get into our bonus picks to give you guys some options to choose from. If you're not feeling our main bets, hey, we got some bonus for you guys too to check out. What do you got? You know, it's a rare day on the show. We are going with a double Tyler pump, Tyler bump, Tyler Fitzgerald over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. Our line star projection is all the way up at 3.4. The consensus is 2.2. He's been over in 68 games. He's been absolutely on fire, hitting 353 with a 441 ISO versus left handed pitching. And Sears has a 522 ERA and a 189 ISO two right-handed bats. So I like the spot for Fitzgerald for over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBI. Tyler, it's been a while since I went with any of my boys in pinstripes. So today, I like Juan Soto over one and a half bases. Soto's got great numbers against his matchup for today. The only concern that I have in this matchup is just the weather, really. But I like this bet either way. I'm going to place it regardless. Line Star's projection for Soto is 2.7 over seven of the last 10 games. He's got a 1052 OPS against righties. Today he'll be facing Phillies. Aaron Nola, who he's 10 of 36 against, but that includes three home runs. So he's taken him deep a couple times, plus that Philadelphia bullpen, 24th against lefty bats. Good news for Soto. We've also got wind blowing out to left. So that's a good part of the weather report that I'm looking at. Nine mile an hour winds out to left, plus top 5% barreled balls versus righties over the last 14 days. Juan Soto has been crushing it. So we're going to go Juan Soto over one and a half bases as well. It's been a while, as I mentioned, since I picked a, a Yankees player, but today seems like a good day. I also was looking at Aaron Judge a little bit for today as well. And then one more I did want to kind of point out your way is another one that we picked yesterday. Juan Yepes. He delivered for us yesterday. He's in another good spot today. So I figured I'd just throw that out there. I didn't want to go into it too much because I picked him yesterday and I went through how good he's been recently. So um, not a bad bet there as well. Of course, you can tell us underdog fantasy sleeper chalkboard parlay play. Again, links are below. Use that promo code line star. And if you want to check out the props AI tool that's been helping us cash all these prop bets make sure to check it out at linestarapp.com plus we've got a lot of new tools if you're getting ready for nfl season we've got our best ball rankings which could also help you out in your fantasy leagues as well but mainly for best ball purposes you can export the rankings and you can actually adjust them to your own liking and then uh, export them directly to your underdog fantasy best ball draft or DraftKings draft so thought i'd point that out for you guys new additions to the line star app make sure to check it out now it's time for home run calls of the day. Hey, Tyler, where are you headed for a bomb on this Tuesday? You know, Shandog, you can't pick a Mets, but I can. And we're going with Francisco Lindor plus 390 for a bomb. Line Star has him at a 22% chance for a home run. Vegas is at like 19.9%. He has nine home runs over the last month, hitting 360 with a 280 ISO versus right-handed pitching over the last 20 games. Meanwhile, the pitcher he's going against Festa is allowing a 368 ISO to left-handed bats. We also have 15 to 20 mile an hour winds blowing out. I like Lindor to uh, hit a long ball. Well, I hope he delivers for you because the Mets picks have not been cashing for me. I'm cursed with the Mets picks, but not overall for my home run calls because I cashed yesterday. So let's run it back today. Today, we're going to go with a little value play here. We're going with the Colorado Rockies first baseman, Michael Tolia. 18% is Line Star's projection for a chance of a dinger today. Two home runs over the last three games. That's the same amount as Shohei has over the last week. Plus, his slugging percentage is higher than Shohei over the last week. 762. He's been crazy ranking him out switch hitter 239 iso against righties and today i really love his matchup going up against angels righty griffin canning who has a 1.63 home run per nine rate that is fourth highest among qualified pitchers plus that los angeles bullpen also gives up a decent amount of bombs in fact they have the seventh highest home run per nine rate so i like the rockies bat here plus 490 that's a pretty good value for a guy who has the same amount of home runs and a higher slugging percentage than shohei otani over the last week just saying i thought about going shohei however we're gonna go with the rockies bat here what do you think not a bad call versus uh, good old griffin canyon so Tolia, let's go 
run it back today in our picks. Hopefully we can continue our streak here. Let us know in the comments if you've got any locks that you are absolutely dialed into today. As always, we're all trying to help each other out and beat those books. And as always, I feel like I should list this disclaimer, bet responsibly, use our picks as guidance and you know do what you want to do bet responsibly within your limits and good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors for today let's go out there and crush it see you guys tomorrow good luck guys